What's going on out there everybody? Rooster in Tennessee with another video for you. Been a few days since we've done a video. Always trying to do something new here. And uh, today we're actually looking at a vintage piece of equipment. Antique, whatever you want to call it. Uh, sweep tube amplifier. This is a Lark single tube. You can see the tube there. Single 8417. I traded for it today. Did some wheeling and dealing with a, a fella I met. Nice fella. And uh, got this off of him. Figured I'd do a video on it. Not something you see a lot of. The uh, 8417 tube. Um, you can get different brands bring different money. I think the GE tubes uh, bring about 50 bucks a piece. Some of the, the more high-end brands can bring up to $100 a piece. Um, but that being said, it is just one single tube. And an 8417 is a uh, extremely durable uh, sweep tube in my opinion now you see this thing probably wondering well it's a tube top i am where's the tuner on it well back here in the back you've got a slot tuner and i'm not sure whether it actually acts as a uh, a tuner or if it's just kind of a variable for the amp um because i seem to crank it wide open and that's where it's doing the most power at so I just adjusted it with a pair of needle nose pliers and turned it, but uh, it's in tune right now, doing good. And uh, we'll show you what this thing does. Really neat little amp here. Uh, that little light there. Hello, 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 hello. Audio, audio is an RF indicator. The more power the amp's doing, it'll get a little bit brighter. Sideband delay. Believe it or not, does function. Standby switch, when it's down, the amp is disengaged. When it's up, the amp is engaged. It does have a rocker switch that's been replaced here. Uh, a three position switch. In the middle, it doesn't do anything, but it does have a high and low, which also function. We'll show that here in a second. And then your power on and off. Uh, recommend let it warm up a few minutes before you talk on it you know two minutes whatever five minutes you don't have to let it run 30 minutes or anything uh, just a couple minutes and it's good to go amps in good shape obviously got some paint mishaps on it due to its age but overall as you can see a, a really nice looking amp it is for sale I've got a single 6LQ6 amp that does right along what this one does maybe a little bit less um, I would keep this one if I didn't have my little 6 LQ6 box. Um, but that being said, I have it, so I don't have a use for this. Um, what I'm going to use this radio with is the Cobra 86 that we've done some videos with. And perfect example of what type of radio you would want to run with this guy. So this radio is doing about 4 watts average and about 18 watts peak, maybe 20. That is exactly what you want to run into one of these brownings sonars trams uh older cobra base stations um stuff like that vintage radios perfect for these don't get these and run a, a connex a galaxy or uh, whatever you're going to be having tube problems etc but uh, basically like a modulator is what they are um whatever you dead key into this it's going to dead key a little bit less out and it's going to give you a lot of swing. So perfect for uh, uh, radios that don't do a lot of output, using as a little pre-driver going into something. A nice little amp. Anyway, that's enough rambling. Let's get down to the meat and potatoes of this deal. We'll test it on average power and peak power. Um, I've got a 500 watt slug over here, I think. Yeah, it's a 500. Uh, we're on high power right now peak kit's not on looking at the middle scale hello oh about 30 watts average on high let's go down to low hello hello about 10 watts average on low now keep in mind, we're only putting four watts average into it. So it's not gonna be a big swinger on average with only four watts going in. So 30 on high, 10 on low. Let's go to peak. Now we're on high, 500 watt scale still. Hello, 
audio, 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 about a hundred watts. Audio, 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 one, two, one, two, three. Audio, 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 audio. Holding up there, not falling back. <clears throat> and that's with a 16 to 18 watts peak going in. Let's go down to low. Hello, 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 about 50 watts on low. Audio, 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 audio. 100 watts on high, 50 watts on low. Runs nice and cool, doesn't heat up very fast. If you don't overdrive this thing, people are like, well, heck, why didn't, have, why didn't it have a fan on it? Well, if you don't overdrive it and you just drive something like this into it, it doesn't need a fan. It won't get hot. Um, you can talk on it, regular talking, as much as you want to, and it won't uh, end up overheating. You know, it's, it's barely even warm. I wouldn't even say warm right now. Um, you know, if you find it's getting hot, you can put a fan on it, but I was tell you, chances are, if you find you're having heat problems with it, you're probably putting too much into it. Um, should run nice and cool for you. That's why the whole top cabinet here is vented. Plenty of ventilation um, to let air in and let the hot air go out. So, hello, one, two, audio, one, two, 84, 17, single tube, audio, radio, lark. Driving it with our Cobra 86. Hope you guys enjoy. This little guy is for sale. Uh, since it's a small amp, I will ship it. I'll pack it to the best of my ability. Um, obviously, there's still a risk in buying tube equipment, vintage tube equipment, having it shipped. Stuff can come loose. Stuff like that can happen. But uh, if I do ship it, I'll pack it to the uh, best of my ability. I'll take the tube out, um, wrap it up, and uh, I'll bubble wrap the inside up here on the top of this, and then I'll, I'll pack the outside of it. Hope you guys enjoy the video, Rooster in Tennessee. Uh, please don't forget about our break, March 27th, 2021. That's the last weekend of March. The Expo Center, exit 20, Cleveland, Tennessee. It's about a quarter of a mile from the interstate, half a mile from the interstate. Uh, anyone's welcome there from every state. Uh, we want a lot of people to turn out. You know, I'd, be, I'd love it if we had three or 400 people come. That'd be great. Uh, just a reminder, guys, Rooster in Tennessee, questions, comments, complaints, shoot me a text, 423-299-3535. See you, bye.